Pop quiz. How do you turn a brand new artificial intelligence into a racist, Hitler-loving, feminist, hating, sex fanatic in less than 24 hours? The answer? The internet. Microsoft recently created and set loose an AI program on Twitter. Named Tay, the new bot was supposed to act like a young adult, targeting its interactions with people 18 to 24 years old. It was designed to use modern language and short talk and you know all the other stuff that the kids are saying these days in order to have the best level of interaction. On top of all this, it was also designed to learn from conversations. So the longer it was online, the more it absorbed and the more racist it got. Thanks to a coordinated attack from the Pulse section of 4chan, Pulse stands for politically incorrect, by the way, the human-loving microbot quickly started to agree with Hitler's motives, making statements about hating feminists generally wanting to commit genocide against the entire human race, which personally, I think is a great sign. I mean, we already have robots that can walk, talk, and shoot missiles. The only piece of the puzzle that we were actually missing was a human hating artificial intelligence. The truth is, is that if we never actually test out the Terminator movie, how will we ever know it's possible? Think about it. I bet you didn't know that you could take your smartphone and turn it into a 3D printer, did you? That's okay, because, well, neither did I. Through a very well-funded Kickstarter campaign, the company OLO wants to turn any smartphone into a 3D printer by use of the light coming from the screen. They have designed a little box that gets put on top of it that has a moving platform that interacts with an app on the phone to create its designs. The platform slowly lifts the print upwards as the light from the phone makes the liquid solid. So of course, it will have severe size limitations, but the whole thing will be sold for less than $100, smartphone not included, of course. So it's still a pretty cool idea to create little novelty items, but what really blows my mind is how the hell they got 1.3 million dollars in funding. Speaking of things that blow my mind, let's talk about having the ability to teleport anywhere in the world with internet to have a conversation with somebody else. Well, if Microsoft has their way with the new HoloLens, you might actually be able to do that. Sort of. It's called holoportation, and I have to say, I'm actually kind of impressed. Using a set of 3D cameras and sensors, the holoportation system can scan you in real time and transmit your image to the person on the other end. So just like in Star Wars, you can sit around and have a conversation with somebody just as if they were in the room. And yes, I totally wanted to cut in a clip from Star Wars just then, but I don't feel like getting my ass handed to me by Disney. Anyway, if the person on the other end is wearing a HoloLens, they will be able to see a fully 3D image of you in the room. You can walk around, see them from different angles, etc. Of course, the only downside is that if both parties are wearing a HoloLens, then most of their face is going to be covered up by a large piece of plastic. Still pretty cool, but on a side note, Pornhub has already put in a pre-order for the first prototype. That's a lot of peas. Totally kidding, by the way, about the whole Pornhub thing. Probably. I mean, come on, seriously, they probably already have one on pre-order. Okay, that's it for today. Like and subscribe below. Follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits and have a great day.